The birth of a child is often considered one of life's most joyful events. However, the postpartum period can be a challenging time marked by significant hormonal changes that can trigger mental health issues. Among these, postpartum depression stands out as a severe condition that affects a substantial number of new mothers. After childbirth, levels of several key hormones, including estrogen and progesterone, decline rapidly. This significant hormonal shift can cause neurochemical changes in the brain, often contributing to postpartum depression. Recent research in journals like the Archives of Women's Mental Health suggests that these hormonal changes can significantly impact mood and mental well-being. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, categorizes postpartum depression as a subtype of major depressive disorder. The criteria for diagnosis include five or more of the following symptoms present during the same two-week period and they represent a change from previous functioning. Depressed mood, loss of interest or pleasure, significant weight loss or weight gain, insomnia or hypersomnia, psychomotor agitation or retardation, fatigue or loss of energy, feelings of worthlessness or excessive guilt, diminished ability to think or concentrate, recurrent thoughts of death or suicidal ideation. The symptoms must cause clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. The episode is not attributed to the physiological effects of a substance or another medical condition. The onset of symptoms must occur within four weeks postpartum to be categorized specifically as postpartum depression according to the DSM-5. Clinical symptoms often go beyond just feeling blue and can include Persistent sadness lasting more than two weeks, severe mood swings, difficulty bonding with the baby, excessive crying and irritability, loss of appetite or binge eating, sleep disorders, overwhelming fatigue, reduced libido, severe anxiety and panic attacks, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, drugs like sertraline or fluoxetine are often first-line treatments with several studies including randomized controlled trials supporting their efficacy and safety even for breastfeeding mothers. Cognitive behavioral therapy. Research in journals like Psychological Medicine shows that cognitive behavioral therapy is effective in treating postpartum depression. Interpersonal therapy has been found to be effective in treating postpartum depression and focuses on improving interpersonal relationships that could contribute to the condition. Postpartum depression is a complex, multifaceted disorder often rooted in hormonal changes following childbirth. Clinical diagnosis according to the DSM-5 involves a comprehensive set of criteria and effective treatment usually includes medication and psychotherapy. Understanding and recognizing the signs of PPD can pave the way for timely and effective treatment, offering hope and relief to affected mothers. Thank you for watching. Please visit my website for more educational content.